brought baked chips. They're so good. My makeup looks a little crazy. Um, I spray way too much setting spray powder, whatever stuff. Um, I will link my five minute makeup for y'all though. So easy. I gotta upload these Instagram stories real quick. And then we're gonna go to Target because I forgot a good, well we, Sam and I both equally forgot a good chunk of stuff yesterday. And then Ezra needs diapers. So I was like, all right, well I have to, have to, have to go to Target. So might as well. All right. So finally got that up after I've been sitting here for five minutes. So I was going to do a pickup today. Ezra needs diapers, he's an honest size five. Target's the only place that ever has size five. So if your baby uses honest size five, um, everywhere else just sells out because it's such a wide range. And like Ezra has been in size five for probably four months now, excuse me. I know other babies who are in size four, size six for a long time, but he just kind of just seems to be sticking within that range. And then he has one overnight diaper. So I was either gonna have to do it today or tomorrow. And I just, I did not want to go tomorrow. So I'm gonna go today. We went to Sam's Club yesterday, got all kinds of stuff and forgot to get Clorox wipes and paper towels. And we need those in our home. They get used all the time. So I'm going to <laughs> grab those while I'm there, but I didn't have enough time to add them to a pickup. So I'm gonna have to actually go inside after. Um, but I have to say, so I have not been on the vlog channel in a week or so, like consistently. I've been in such a funk. And it's one of those things, like it's really hard to talk about on social media because most of the people know that you're, like that follow you, know you have good intentions, they know you have a good heart. And then there's always just those, those few people who just take it and run and like act like you're just the most spoiled brat, ungrateful, all this stuff. And I find that that's with two things. So specifically the house, um, I compare building a home to actually wedding planning as far as like the stress level. Like the closer you get to the end, the more stressful it gets. Um, and you feel so grateful to be doing it, but like who cares about the napkin colors? Nobody, but you have to pick it out. And you know, everything is expensive. Everything has a cost, everything has a price. And so it's just a lot to go through. And anytime you talk about how stressed you are doing it, people act like you were just the biggest brat and that you should be so grateful. And it's like, I am so grateful to be building a home. I know that this is such a big thing, but that doesn't mean that I can't be stressed about it at the exact same time. You are allowed to feel multiple things at the same time. And that always got me even about pregnancy. Like I would talk about how like hard pregnancy was. People would be like, well, you should just be grateful. And I'm like, I'm so grateful, but this is hard. So with that being said, I have just kind of like been in such a, I've been so stressed about the house that actually earlier this week, like. I just broke down in tears and just cried and I actually felt a lot better. I have not felt like myself for a while with just as much stress as I have going on and I broke down and Sam was like, honey, we're having a baby. We have a 12 month old, almost 13 month old baby as well. We're building a home. Like you are nearing the third trimester in your pregnancy. Nobody thinks that you're not supposed to be stressed right now. Like it's fine. But anytime I bring it up, I always have someone who's just like, oh, just take, embrace every moment. And I'm like, thanks, I'll make sure I smile more while I'm stressed. And that's that's just like, oh, I know they have good intentions and I know that their heart is good, but it's just hard to talk about when you're constantly basically told that your stress doesn't matter and you just need to shut up about it and just be grateful. And it's like, I just want to remind myself and other people, like you are allowed to feel multiple things at one time. Um, and, and this has just been one of those times in my life where I'm allowed to feel overwhelmed, but I also know that like I am so excited and I feel so grateful and I can't wait. But the second thing is also just as for being a toddler, it never fails if I mention like how dirty, and I'm not even like complaining, I'll just be like mentioning, you know, how dirty the house is and I gotta clean it up. People will be like, you need to embrace every minute because one day that mess won't be there. It's like, boo, listen, I know that, <laughs> I know, and I'm not complaining, but like I'll smile more when I'm bending down picking up the toys. Sure, I'll make sure I smile more. I'll make sure I'm that grateful. Like, so I don't know. I just, I've struggled because I don't want to say something and sound ungrateful or like a brat or like, you know, whatever. But also I can't stand those comments and I know that people mean them with good, good intentions, but it's just really hard. So um, I've kind of just been avoiding the vlog channel because I'm always very just like, what's going on in my life? And I just haven't really felt like it face the internet always the internet is not a safe space but i haven't felt like it's a you know a good thing to come on here and say but also i just have been even 
so stressed and had so much to do that I have not had the time to commit to vlogging. Um, we're just so go, go, go. So that's kind of my feelings, my thoughts, what I've been, what I've been going through. Um, feel very grateful, feel very blessed. I've said that a hundred times, but I'm overwhelmed and it's a lot right now and we're nearing the end, which I'm so excited for. I know that will take a huge stress off me um, to be just done with even the building process. It's just a lot, but we're nearing the end. And so we're roughly looking at, basically all of our subs are being told at this point that May 19th is the last day that anything can be done understanding that there will be delays from that so it's kind of assumed that we'll be done may 31st sam and i are still adding a little bit of buffer time to that just because we don't want to get our hopes up um, and we're thinking middle of june is when we'll actually be moving our plan is in a perfect world like say we close on a wednesday we're done or final walkthroughs finished we won't probably move in that weekend it would be perfect if we could but having a 13 month old and really relying, especially on my parents to help um, with that is gonna make a big, big difference. But also they were thinking, all of us thought when we first started building this home that it was gonna be because of the delays at the current time, that it would be like August to October when we would be done with this home, which is such a blessing that it's not gonna be done because I do August 13th. Um, but because we were like, oh, we've heard there's delays, there's delays. We, our subcontractors actually really kept everybody in check and they were like, hey, okay, well, I've heard that windows are this far out, so you might wanna go ahead and order your windows. And so we had our windows when it was time for the windows to come in because like our builder and our subcontractors, they just stayed on it. So we are very great. And he's also stacked things. Like he, he had said, he was like, I don't understand why you have to wait for one thing to be 100% finished before you can move on to this other thing when they don't even go together. So. He's stacked a lot of subcontractors and it's actually made our house process move so much faster than we thought. We thought it was gonna be a year to like 12 to 14 months. It's actually gonna have been roughly nine to 10 months when we close, um, which is huge. So we're thinking middle of June and my parents thinking that originally it was gonna be August to October when we were done, went ahead and booked a vacation for the week starting on June 10th. And so they, they were like, we'll be gone that week. And I was like, of course you'll be gone the week that we're probably gonna be moving in. And being that I will be 30, 30 32 weeks, I'm not quite sure, um, in there, I there's not much I can do. And I don't like that, but I understand that my child's health, that mine is more important. and. Last time I was 32 weeks pregnant and I overdid it, I wound up in the hospital with bleeding. So I, I will be very much so cautious. Um, and if that's another thing, like whenever I mention that, people are like, you need to be cautious. And they'll tell me this horror story. And I'm like, please stop. Please don't tell me your moving story of when you accidentally shot yourself into labor or have these like horrible contractions or complications, like stop it. I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very cautious. So it's a lot. I'm just chatty now, but. I feel very blessed, but I finally feel good after a cry. Like after I cried, I don't know. I, I'm not someone who keeps my tears in ever, but like I felt like the things that I was stressed about weren't like to the point of tears. But then this past week it was like they all just accumulated so much that I just burst into tears and actually I felt much better after. So random little tidbit, chatty update here of all the all the, the feelings that I've been having. Um, but I don't know what updates. I might take y'all down and show you the house later if we get a minute. We feel so excited to be at this point because now you can start to see all of the fun things that we picked are starting to come together. So um, the ceiling doors and the trim are all painted. They are all pure white. And the boys' closets are both painted because those are the same color. Usually the painter said they usually do those the same color as the um, ceiling and trim. So those are all finished. They are going to be, I think, painting at the end of this week because our floors are in and the floor guy says he actually doesn't need that long. He's like, it's not gonna take me long to come in there and put those floors in. And so I think they're actually pausing and doing another job and then the floor guy's coming in, putting in the floors and they're gonna come back and paint the walls and like do the touch up paint. 
So there's a couple things that need to be done in the meantime. Trim needs to get finished while they're um, not painting. I think there's a couple things in the ceiling that need to get done while they're not painting. So I think there's gonna be a lot of staggering that's going on, but our floors are supposed to go in. Our paint's supposed to happen. We have had kind of issues lately. April showers, bring May flowers. It has been raining here nonstop. And so our exterior paint was originally supposed to be first and it, the weather has not allowed for that. Um, so, but it's, it's been a, a really great thing because also they've been able to kind of work out the grading and the septic came and was able to put things in. So I really do commend our builder and our subcontractors because they are incredible. They've worked so hard at staying on this house, getting it done. Um, and we just were so, I, like I make such a point if I'm there when there are subcontractors there to like make sure I tell them how grateful we are for them or how good their work has been. Like, so <sighs> a lot, a lot has been going on. But I'm gonna get off here and focus. But I'm actually not that far from Target now. I'm like five minutes. So I'm gonna run in, grab a couple things. I'm going to avoid the women's clothing section at all costs because I saw they're having a 20% off sale today. I don't need to be doing that. I need to be good. I'm, I'm gonna make it. So, no, you got it. You guys, this is the best little thing. So this right here is a glasses cleaner. It is the best. Do I have mine? Oh, it's best right here. I do, yeah. You just, it seems like one of those super inconvenient things, but whenever we're like <laughs> at the lake or beach or something, my shirt or my towels like always have sunscreen on them. I'm telling you, this detonate get your glasses super clean. Yeah, they're definitely cleaner than if I just use my shirt for sure. So, random little Amazon find. All right, we're good to go. You better quit yawning by there, Put dude. Put my seatbelt on, hold on. We're gonna go to the park. And can you stop? I will shut this when I am done. Thank you. I'm clearly the impeding the ability to close that. We need a bigger car. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna go to the park now. It is 71 here, is what it says the temperature is. Um, and I really like getting outside. It's I saw the funniest quote, and it said, "Oh God, what did it say?" It said something like. I was never, I would never consider myself an outdoorsy person, but it wasn't until I walked outside and felt like I popped a molly that I realized maybe I am an outdoor person. And it's like after having a baby, I feel like you understand like the beauty in being outdoors and how it can shift your mood and stuff. So we got to get him some of those shoes um, that everyone was recommending. I want to get him some Crocs too. Some baby Crocs. I'll let you pick those out. so good out here. It's not bad. It's definitely a little cool with the wind going there. Check probably, me in. Probably better than mine is the pants. I don't know. Once we get down there, though, it's kind of a direct... I hate the way mineral sunscreen like feels and it gets all over everything. You're gonna, I'm gonna have to like actually. Will you hand me a baby wipe or something out of there? Okay. Ready, Chunky? We have all kinds of toys, all kinds of things that people have purchased for us. But where do we like to hang out the most, Ezra? We like to hang out by the shoes. Oh my goodness! Hold on. Ah. Oh, mommy's struggling to get down and get up these days. <laughs> Look at it. He does this thing now. It's so funny. 
Let me see if I can get it out. I don't think he'll should do it, but he basically, he, is it stuck to your foot, baby? He will basically like, he'll stand in front of you and then back up and he'll, you don't want to come hang out with me? <gasps> Mr. Miles, you don't want to come hang out with mama? All right, whatever. Just pull the pajamas out of your daddy's drawer. It's fine. I don't, I don't care about things like that. It makes him happy. Whatever. I'll clean it up in a minute. Um, but he'll back up. So like now he started to walk backwards, which actually is a 16 to 18 month like developmental thing to be able to walk backwards. He does it all the time now. He'll like stand in front of you and he'll back up like probably six steps and then he'll sit in your lap. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. But I came in here because usually he likes to pull all my shoes off the shoe shelves and I guess he's not going to do that today. So um, I'm actually going to go grab some breakfast. This is probably going to be my last chat this has been a very chatty vlog, Ivy. specifically. Hi, VV. Very chatty vlog. So la next time I'll see y'all will be floors. But look at this little munchkin. Look at those cute jammies. Look at those cute jammies. And look at these shoes, by the way. Actually, I will show y'all these. I got these because I have essentially kind of ruined all of my other shoes. Um, I was very bad, especially during like last month and the month before just being like okay we're gonna go down to the house real quick i gotta run down there i'm gonna take shoes and i thought because for so long we had been driving into the garage well now that the concrete's poured we don't want to drive in there because then we're gonna be tracking red mud in so you have to walk through the red mud <laughs> so i ruined a lot of my like cheapy sandals that i've just thrown on so i bought these yesterday how cute are these they're from walmart size up half they are so comfy they also come in black you want to show them what you got you wanna show them what you got? Look. Oh, he dropped it? Okay. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> no. Don't touch it, you cute little baby. Don't touch the actual thing. Ah. Ah. No. You're so cute. Look. Okay, I feel like it's coming off. No, it's not. Maybe it wants to, but we get the light in here. Actually, I feel like the color's kind of coming off a little more true here. It's a very pretty oak. Um, but we got the floors in. Okay, see, so maybe it's just the lighting and maybe once we get natural light, because it looks super dark in here. I don't know, I wish you guys could really see, but these are like starting to become, don't you feel like this is like starting to become a house? Like it's so crazy. And then I think, I'm not sure, I can never remember what I've showed you guys. So we've got all this is like uncovered now. They're gonna come finish up paint stuff. They still haven't done the walls, but I think they're rolling those. And then I put a picture up on Instagram today to show the light that we're gonna do right here. Um, and then we're doing two pendant lights there, so. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's beautiful, they've been working so hard. It's amazing. What do you think, baby? Do you like it? Look at it. So this is our pantry, and now the shelving can go. Well, nope, we still have paint. Dead it. So I have to put the quarter around around the floor too. Um, we still have paint to do, but our shelving can go up. This looks so yeah. good. And then they're gonna fix this. I absolutely hate this. This was a solution that was like so rigged. And we told them we did not want that bump back, but I guess they wanted to still make it look like a, like it matched, but I don't feel like that looks good at all. So what we did was they ordered another one of these pieces and then this whole thing is just gonna be right to the ground because, I mean, it's still a pantry, so I don't know. I just, I did not like that. And then this right here, I can tell you right now, it's gonna two seconds. I mean, it's already falling apart. Like kids will mess that up. So yeah, I don't, that's getting fixed. Um, and then the laundry room. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's again, darker than it is in person, but I just love it. And then this is what we were actually deciding on. So we went with all the like inside the green you're seeing is going to be the concrete pad and then we're going to get a quote for it because god <laughs> concrete is expensive but we are regardless of what it is going to go with a 14 foot I think the pad 
um, driveway, 14 foot wide. I think the pad either way is, is like gonna go to these two, I think. Yes, it's gonna go, I think, yeah, to right here by the pink and the yellow. And that's to yep. make sure that it's... And then from there, that's kind of the question mark is like, how much is this gonna cost? Cause like concrete is insane. We gotta figure out so. which place we're putting Edgewood's basketball goal. Right there. We're not basketball people. Look at my shoe situation, y'all. So bad. 